Hi there, I'm Cheryl. I always say that when I sit down to a table that has the china, crystal, and silver, that I feel like I have to behave myself, and I can't break any rules. The, the whole concept of entertaining, the whole idea of inviting someone over shouldn't be that the host never has a good time. Truly the essence of gatherings is about the people and the relationships, and those people that you invite into your home are your biggest fans, and they want you to succeed, and you're so invited. It's a snapshot of everything that I've learned over the past 20 years about how to make guests feel special, how to touch them in a way that when they leave, they're telling stories and they share memories, and that's what it's all about. My tables have a little bit of thematic tension, I like to say, and so do the recipes that we kind of create. They're, they're unexpected. I'm not a chef. I'm never going to pretend to be. These are not hard recipes. I don't want you spending time in the kitchen. I want you being with your guests. You're so invited. It's full of ideas. Don't stress out. Try to fake it <laughs> instead of make it is my philosophy. If you love to cook, then think about displaying it in fun ways. Look what's in your cupboard, how you can repurpose, how you can add height variation on a buffet table or layering to your dinner table. Once you wear this lens, You'll never look at something as a unipurpose thing ever again. You'll be looking at it and going, oh, let's see what we can come up with. And that's the kind of thing that's in the book. If you're so invited, it isn't a prescription. It's not look how great I am and emulate me or mimic me. It's more of a book of who are you and who's coming to your table and how can you be the best at what you can do. And so you are so invited to panic less, play more, and get your party on.